Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is uh, part two of uh, doing a clean install of Windows 10 uh, Creators Update. So I've created my little boot drive right here. This is my USB thumb drive that has Windows 10 created with uh, Rufus, but you can create it with the Windows Media Creation Tool. You can also create a DVD, will be fairly the same thing. So insert that into, if it's a DVD, insert it into the drive, it's a thumb drive, insert it into the uh, USB thumb drive or the USB port of your computer. And when you boot up, there's a key that you can use. So when I boot up this machine, for example, it will say F12 for boot menu. So basically, I have to boot it from there. Now, I've actually not done it, so here, every computer says F12 to boot from something. So, uh, or, you know, whatever F key. Every computer has this possibility. Uh, some of them, now on this computer, you've seen it, but some of them don't show it. <clears throat> so you might not know what to do. If you can't boot from your USB thumb drive or your DVD drive, what I suggest is to go to the manufacturer's website and check out the instructions that they give on your machine to what is the way and what key you have to press to start your PC with a USB thumb drive. So here I got a choice. This is my regular hard drive. But if I go down, this is the Kingston Data Traveler. This is my USB uh, thumb drive, basically. If it's a DVD, you'll go on your CD DVD writer, for example. So here, Kingston Data Traveler, I press enter, and I will be, of course, into the Windows install. So this is the first thing that you will see booting from the PC. So um, <clears throat> it is sometimes better on one media than another. So depending on the PC that you're using, uh, it might be better to do it on the DVD on some machines, but you know I, I really think a USB thumb drive is the best way to install. And the reason why I think that a USB thumb drive is the best way to install is it is so much faster to do an install with the USB thumb drive than it is with a DVD. Typically, it's easily half the time that it will take on DVD to do the same thing. And this is where you get, if you've succeeded, that second part. You get to what language to install, time, currency format, keyboard. And of course, this will be part three. We're going to start from there and go up to the uh, moment of the install going um, itself and explaining all of that. So, part two, re just find how you have to boot from your USB thumb drive. Another quick thing about this, if you have a working Windows 10 machine, just want to clean install, what you could also do is hold the shift key and then press restart on your start menu while holding the shift key. This will actually bring you to the advanced menu where you can choose boot from USB if you wish to do so. Another thing to try, doesn't boot from one USB port, try another. Sometimes it makes a difference. Um, doesn't see the drive, doesn't seem to work. You've chosen the drive and it didn't boot. Something might be wrong with your thumb drive. Recreate the thumb drive. <coughs> Try it with media creation tool, but if it doesn't work, some computers actually do not boot with the boot option of the media creation tool on USB thumb drive. Then use Rufus to create the USB thumb drive. And of course, you can try a DVD, but there is a way to boot from your USB thumb drive or DVD on every computer. You just have to find it. One thing that I've noticed, if you really want to clean install and don't really care about what's happening on your PC, you can actually uh, abruptly stop the Windows startup. So while you see that it wants to start in Windows, press and hold the power button to force it to shut down it's going to think there's a problem. And when you actually reboot, sometimes some PCs that don't show nothing on the screen, just the logo of the company, sometimes it shows for a brief instant after you do that, oh, press you know F11 or F12 or F2. It could be different 
F keys from different manufacturers. This is a Toshiba um, that's about maybe four years old, four or five years old Toshiba and um, it is F12 in this case and on my newer Toshiba it is also F12. It could be a standard for different manufacturers but each manufacturer has its own way of booting from a USB thumb drive and that's what you gotta find first. And if you are here then you're on your way to a clean install just follow our next uh, example. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and hope you enjoy this series on clean install of Windows 10 and uh, of course we'll walk your way through the install itself hopefully uh, you'll enjoy our videos so uh, hope you follow them and that they help you do a clean boot or a clean install of Windows 10 on your PC and this is what creators update by the way <laughs>